Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Tales of Honor podcast. It is the first episode of the month of May, and I know I told you that in my Instagram stories and Facebook stories, I would be giving you the option of voting as to uh, what conflicts we'd be doing next. I take it all back. I'm feeling a little uh, dictatorish, I guess. I'm going to take control and not give you the options. You'll get what you hear and you'll like it. First of all, (laughs) we are going to do the two remaining Global War on Terror recipients that have not been done yet. So we're going to get those two done off the bat. Then I'm going to, I haven't decided the order yet, but we're going to do World War I, World War II, and the Vietnam War. Um, it's been about a year since we've done those, so I'll, I'll do those. I haven't decided the order yet, so we'll find out. Uh, first up, I have no birthdays of Living Medal of Honor recipients to go over today. However, this is kind of a weird coincidence. Uh, today's today's episode is going to be, as I mentioned, from the Global War on Terror, and it's going to be Matthew Williams, uh, Sergeant Major Matthew Williams, that is. And in regards to birthdays, his wife actually had their second son last night. So a very happy birthday to their newest baby boy. And congratulations to Matt and Kate Williams. So that is a kind of a weird coincidental birthday slash episode today. So that's all I have for today. We're going to move right on into episode number 407. Matthew was born on the 3rd of October, 1981, in Bernie, Texas, where he spent most of his childhood. After high school, he attended Angelo State University in San Angelo, Texas, where he graduated with a Bachelor's of Science degree in criminal justice with hopes of a career as a detective or with the FBI. Like so many others, the terror attacks of 9-11 would ultimately change his thoughts on how to serve the U.S., Matthew enlisted in the U.S. Army in May of 2005 and within two years was a weapons sergeant with the 3rd Special Forces Group. His first deployment was to Shock Valley in Afghanistan in 2008 and it was his actions during Operation Commando Wrath, or what is now known as the Battle of Shock Valley, that would earn him the Silver Star. A little foreshadowing and the mission of this podcast tells us that Matthew's Silver Star would be upgraded to the Medal of Honor, for which the citation reads... Sergeant Matthew O. Williams distinguished himself by acts of gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty on April 6, 2008, while serving as a weapons sergeant, Special Forces Operational Detachment Alpha 3336, Special Operations Task Force 33, in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Sergeant Williams was part of an assault element inserted by helicopter into a location in Afghanistan. As the assault element was moving up a mountain towards its objective, it was engaged by intense enemy machine gun, sniper, and rocket-propelled grenade fire. The lead portion of the assault element, which included the ground commander, sustained several casualties and became pinned down on the sheer mountainside. Sergeant Williams, upon hearing that the lead element had sustained casualties and was in danger of being overrun, braved intense enemy fire to lead a counterattack across a valley of ice-covered boulders and a fast-moving, ice-cold, and waist-deep river. Under withering fire, Sergeant Williams and his local national commandos fought up the terraced mountainside to the besieged element. Arriving at the lead element's position, Sergeant Williams arrayed his Afghan commandos to provide suppressive fire, which kept the insurgent fighters from overrunning the position. When the team sergeant was wounded, Sergeant Williams braved enemy fire once again to provide buddy aid and to move the team sergeant down the sheer mountainside to the casualty collection point. Sergeant Williams then fought and climbed his way back up the mountainside to help defend the lead assault element that still had several serious casualties in need of evacuation. Sergeant Williams directed suppressive fire and exposed himself to enemy fire in order to reestablish the team's critical satellite radio communications. He then assisted with moving the wounded down the near-vertical mountainside to the casualty collection point. Noting that the collection point was about to be overrun by enemy fighters, Sergeant Williams led the Afghan commandos in a counterattack that lasted for several hours. When helicopters arrived to evacuate the wounded, Sergeant Williams again exposed himself to enemy fire, carrying and loading casualties onto the helicopters while continuing to direct command of firepower to suppress numerous insurgent positions. His actions enabled the patrol to evacuate wounded and dead comrades without further casualties. 
Sergeant Williams's complete disregard for his own safety and his concern for the safety of his teammates ensured the survival of four critically wounded soldiers and prevented the lead element of the assault force from being overrun by the enemy. Sergeant Williams's actions are in keeping with the finest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon himself, Combined Joint Special Operations Task Force Afghanistan, Special Operations Command Central, and the United States Army. Ten Silver Stars and one Air Force Cross were issued for actions in this battle, the most in a single battle since the Vietnam War. Remaining in the Army, Matthew would go on to deploy five more times before learning of the upgrade to the Medal of Honor, similar to the upgrade of fellow Green Beret Ron Schur, which we covered on episode 211, who was also in the battle. Matthew received the Medal of Honor from President Trump on the 30th of October, 2019, in a ceremony at the White House where his wife Kate, son Nolan, other Medal of Honor recipients, and members of his team were all present. On the 20th of February, 2020, Matthew O. Williams was promoted to Sergeant Major and is one of three Medal of Honor recipients to be currently serving on active duty. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor, and if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Floru's Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com, and please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information.